Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Ethergazer on PC using the brand new BlueStacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Ethergazer and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Ethergazer. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all my friends, to get started we have to open our main internet browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's go to this URL that I'm highlighting in green. Now, you are able to see on the PC screen. There is no need to type it, simply because there's a clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first main comment. We landed at this point on our own website of Usability, exactly where we have an in-depth explanation on the best way to download and install Ethergazer on laptop or computer. We scroll lower a tad and simply click on the download game on PC button. Once we click on this link, we reach the website of BlueStacks. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we are going to use to enjoy the game Ethergazer on our PC. As you can discover here we access a number of pros of preferring using this emulator. Now we are ready to proceed to download the Ethergazer by clicking on the button play on BlueStacks that you can see here in green. We then click on it. And the download step starts and ends immediately. Here it is, this is the download. It is a file to execute. The following step is to launch the installer. Ok, so we click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the computer. We have said yes, I minimize the internet browser to view the installer much better. The installer is pretty simple. It includes two options, install, and setup path. I will clarify what setup path actually does. We basically just simply click on it. So we realize that we display here the path where your emulator will be installed. If we would you like to change for better this directory we are required to click on this, browse, option, and we opt for another directory and set up the emulator specifically where we wish. To keep it simple, just leave it as it is. I simply click on back. So I just click install. Voila! The setup commences and it will continue with the download of all these MB that are visible on our screen. At the time you save it on your hard drive, it is likely to be slightly more or less MB. The data transfer speed will go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, determined by your web access and according to the data transfer rate of the emulator servers. Now they are working extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator happens to be launched instantly. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will advance to the right and when it comes to the finish, the emulator is going to be started for the first time. The truth is the emulator is already launched, here it is for the first time. Before we carry on, as you understand, it made two icons there on the computer desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks multi-instance. Note that the BlueStacks icon is going to be the one we're interested in. Whenever we desire to start Ethergazer on the PC, we twice click the specific software icon and as a result run the emulator. The BlueStacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in Eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we make the next phase, that is a must, and that is to visit the Google Play Store. And we will mouse click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is started. There we need to sign in. At this point the moment we are there, we must execute this next step that is definitely imperative. Therefore click on, sign in. At this moment it shows, checking info. It may from time to time get stuck in, checking info, additionally it doesn't proceed. If that's the case, you should try to log in and after a few hours it's going to usually be repaired. At this moment we can type in our email and password. The email address ought to be a Gmail email as well as its associated password. For example you make use of the same email address you're using currently in your own YouTube account. Therefore I will type my info and I'll return immediately after I have accomplished it. That's it, information inserted. This is Google welcoming us and offering us their terms of service. We would consent to them all by just clicking on, I agree. Following, it make us possible to backup to the Google Cloud. You could leave it selected and it'll generate a backup of your data on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, 
you can make use of that feature if you prefer. We simply click on Accept. Google Play Store is started without need to open it manually and instantly. To install the game, we would need to get to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on that app icon marked green colored. Right now that we are exploring the desktop of that emulator, we observe that we have there the install app button. We then click on that button. There we come with the video game. Why don't we click now on the install option that I'm just presenting now in green. And this will launch the setup. At this point it will install the video game. It typically takes a bit of time or perhaps it could be almost immediate. It all is dependent upon on our own connection to the web. It's actually completed setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by clicking that button that I am emphasizing in green, to be able to use Ethergazer for the very first time. We're now on the emulator desktop, then we're going to simply click that new Ethergazer software icon that was provided. This Android game is launched for the first time on your machine. There we end up with it, I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should discuss the sound level of the emulator. It is here. We use the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This way we don't use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of your emulator. And to take pleasure in the experience to the max, we could turn on the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. This is actually the very first one. We mouse click on this icon which I am designating in green color. And the monitor is maximized, enjoying one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In the event that we like to play the video game in full screen, we click that application icon. And we'd by now be enjoying the game in 100% screen mode. To escape the 100% screen functionality, just click the F11 key. Then we would certainly just be in normal screen setting. At present, I am on the way to explain you the computer keyboard mapping which is rather appealing. That step we will be able to operate the game application far more easily. The very first point is to mouse click this application icon. It's now time to complete the required adjustments. I will let the default settings, though if you plan to improve it, you may very well do it with no problem. As you can see, the emulator is fully in our language. From time to time it happens that your emulator is launched in the erroneous language, such as, in Chinese. And then to place it in the correct language we go here to the cogwheel. Then there throughout additional configurations, we click on the, language, drop down. We will opt for the language we need, German, Mandarin, and so forth. As soon as the language is chosen, we would save, the emulator will reboot, as well as the video game, next time we use it, will as well be in the preferred language. At this point, you will find another point that we will need to take into account, and it is that we will get an email telling you that a completely new electronic device has been connected to this Google account. It will question us if we're the people who have connected that electronic device. Absolutely, we must not get worried, considering the fact that emulator is simulating an Google Android electronic device. In order to determine which electronic device is being emulated, we come right here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. Therefore we browse here to the, model, selection. And right here we discover that the emulator is emulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for this training. I hope you appreciated it, especially that you thought it was interesting. If that is so, bring it a good like, subscribe to our channel, and if you have remarks, concerns or ideas, let them in the comment field down below. You could even comment things on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams on occasion, you have it listed below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Simply click any of these instructional videos that happens to be appearing on the screen and see you in the upcoming training videos. Bye.